I decided to be a truck driver a few years ago. Uh, when we had the COVID lockdowns, I saw that our grocery store shelves were starting to empty out. And it kind of freaked me out. It just seemed like America was hurting. And so I wanted to help. My entire life, I worked like a normal full-time job, which I was making like 30K a year. It's not like I was miserable. I was doing okay, but I didn't feel like I was in charge of my life. I was homeless for about three months. I went to Texas because there was a trucking school that paid you $1,000 a month to get your CDL. I couldn't get my Texas driver's license without my birth certificate. I was hoping to just transfer it. I still don't know where I lost the birth certificate. And then when I called the Vital Statistics office, they, they told me they would mail it to me, but it would take up to six months. And then I unfortunately ran into my family. All the money I had saved up, I put into them to help them out because they were just barely getting by and it backfired on me. And so I just wound up with no place to live. All I had to do was tell the community chest or the people that were helping me that, you know, I was involved in a domestic dispute. I wasn't the aggressor, I was, I was leaving actively. And that's how I got access to shelter for a few days. And within that few days, I called around other, you know, homeless shelters and uh, fish in Gardnerville. They helped me get a grant to get my CDL. They gave me a room and they let me stay there until I completed my CDL class. And they just all wanted to see me succeed. They were all so supportive. These were complete strangers. I was new in Gardnerville. I didn't know these people. They did everything they could to help me. I think we're all good people. I, I used to not think that was the case. I'm glad I was wrong. So I just went to school, went to class, learned it as best as I could, and I eventually passed my driving test. Before I even graduated, Night Transportation called me. And my experience with Night Transportation has been really good. I've been treated super well. I always get all the help I need. My driver managers are phenomenal. They've never let me down, not even a single time. And yeah, so when I started working for night, I didn't actually have bedding or pillows or anything like that. And so my trainer, Martin, asked me if I had anything to sleep on. And I'd been roughnecking it for a while. So I was like, no, I'm okay. And night transportation gave me a set of pillows and a blanket. And by the way, the pillow they gave me, that's the best pillow I've ever had. I don't know what that pillow is made out of. Financially, I'm making more money than I've ever made in my entire life. Yeah, I've been able to make investments and I'm actually looking to buy a plot of land to build one of those, um, you know, the storage container houses. I know truck drivers aren't like Navy SEALs or they're not our veterans or our soldiers, but they're still heroes. Like, these people are amazing. I don't know if they know how amazing they are, but I actually kind of want to be a Top Gun instructor so I can help tell these people that they're about to be heroes and give them everything they need to do this job well. Now that I've got it down, I'm feeling pretty confident that I could teach other people how to do this and safely.